Hello, everyone. This is part four on the precedence uh, networks. And let's talk about an example of what we have kind of covered in the previous lectures. This probably, this is a good example to see how the precedence network in this chapter uh, determining the, the CPM is different than the regular CPM that we, uh, we worked on before. So with that, let's, uh, let's look at this chart here, or this table. We have activities from A to G uh, with their duration, and then their uh, preceding activities. But this time we have type of relationship, which is a start to start, start to, uh, start to start, and finish to finish. Um, and then they have their own lines. So then to, to formulate um, a schedule according to this table here with the condition imposed, how are we going to tackle this? Um, the next slide here will show that. So then if we have a, let's say this is what we have. Right, and let's see how we formulated uh, this type of diagram. We have A with four duration and B with three duration, but there is no uh, predecessors to them. Uh, then, of course, the project starts zero to zero, and then we have A and B, four and six durations. Then, of course, A and B starts from zero, right? And then with their duration four, you have, so early start is zero, early finishes four, and early start for B is zero, early finishes three. Then moving on to C, it has a duration of eight, and A is the predecessor with the start to start relationship and lag of two. So then we have C, start to start relationship, right? With lag of two. And then we go to D with the duration of seven, A and B are the predecessor. So then D is A and B. So we have, because we don't have any type of relationship to it, uh, we will assume it's finished to start, right? So then we have finished to start for, from A and B, A and to D and B to, uh, to D uh, with B relationship. And then the early start of D is four because it goes to the, to, to the largest of the uh, early finish of these two activities, so it's four. Uh, with the duration of seven, then the early finish of D it's 11. Then if we go back to the table, E here, duration is six, and is dependent on D with a start to start relationship and lag of three. So then we have E here, we have start to start, uh, start to start relationship with D, so to start to start with the lag of D uh, with the three lag, and then the early start, is um, uh, of E is seven here with the duration of six, then the, the early finish of E is 13. Uh, why seven? Because if the three, the lag wasn't here, then the early start of E should be four because to start to start with D, but because we gave a lag here to it, it's seven. Then um, we have F with a duration of a three and it's dependent on D. So then for that, um, we have F and duration of a three, 11 again, early finish, early start, and it's 14. And then G with a duration of five, dependent on F with a start to start relationship analog of two. And F has also a finish to finish relationship. 
so start to start with G with two. So that makes the early start of G13. And with, the, with its duration five, it's 18. So the early finish is, is 18. But also it has a finish to finish here. So G won't be able to finish until F is finishes. So it's 18 here. And then uh, we have um, G again, because it doesn't have a dependent, then we're gonna have to conclude the project with project finish, E project finish, and C project finishes. And which is the largest uh, finish is 18. Actually, you can see it's here. Let me see. So that's the 18, the, the finish of the project, then the late finish is also 18, and you go backward in the process. But I wanna point out something very important here, that yes, this is 18G, and then you sub subtract the duration five, which gets 13, here 18, and subtract six, 12, and 18 minus eight is 10, and then you go back in the in the process just like we we learned to do it just the regular way however f here uh, finishes 18 not uh, 14 excuse me not 18 14. why because it's dependent uh, uh, it's independent by its finishes yes g has to be uh, it won't be able to done until f, f is done so uh, F early late finish should be 14, just like it's early finish, because we need to give time for G to be to be done. And then you go back in your uh, backward process to complete it. So 14 minus the three, 11, and then you take 11 here. Which one you take 11 or 12? You take 11 because it's the smallest backward and subtracts uh, 11 minus seven is four and so on and so forth. So then finishing the uh, forward pass and the backward pass, um, we will be able to identify the critical path, which is um, A, D, F, G, and the project finish. So this is your um, critical path. Now, as, as we learn here, this is very different from the previous chapters and how we learned to calculate the critical path.